10 Sports Stiffs Caught on Camera Number 10. Pierre Mario Morosini In 2012, Italian footballer Pierre Mario Morosini was playing a football match. In the 31st minute, Pierre Mario collapsed. He was rushed to hospital but later died. The autopsy gave no ideas into the 25-year-old's mysterious death, although some speculated it could have been some kind of heart failure. Number 9. Tom Cutinella. Unlike most of the others on this list, this sports death is even more tragic as it was during a high school game. In October of 2014, a varsity football player from River Hill High School was playing a football match against Elwood John High School. As the game was going, 16-year-old Tom Cutinella collided with an opposing player. However, unlike most football collisions, this resulted in a serious head injury. After he got up from the collision, he collapsed and later died. Number 8. Tom Simpson in 1962, British cyclist Tom Simpson was participating in the Tour de France. He had just reached the top of Mount Ventoux in the 13th stage of the race. Simpson began the race looking weak and pale, arousing suspicion from many. During the race, he began to wobble and then fell off his bike. He never got back up from the fall and amphetamines were later found in his system and in his backpack. Number 7. Doug Dedge in March of 1998, karate champion Doug Dej decided to compete in the International Super Challenge of MMA in Ukraine. Dej was one of the three American fighters in the competition. He faced a Ukrainian karate master in what is called a battle without rules. The fight only lasted 5 minutes. Doug was thrown to the ground and punched 14 times by his opponent and was unable to get back up. He died two days later from severe brain trauma. Number 6. Sharon Stone on the 7th of July 2011, firefighter Sharon Stone took his infant son to see a baseball game. During the game between the Texas Rangers and the Oakland Athletics, they purchased a glove in hopes of catching a ball. During the game, a foul ball was struck and headed straight in Sharon Stone's direction. He wanted to catch the ball with his glove and bent over the rail to do so, causing him to fall 20 feet to his death right in front of his 6-year-old son. The tragic accident was recorded live on TV. Number 5. Jimmy Morgan In 1981, American bobsledder Jimmy Morgan was competing in the Winter Games in Italy. Before the race, the snow had melted on the bobsled track, causing Jimmy to lose control. His sled flipped over and killed Jimmy as his neck hit the wall of the track. His death was filmed by his own brother John Morgan, who was an NBC sport analyst at the time. Number 4. La Man's Disaster Le Mans is a 24-hour endurance race to see who can complete the most laps in 24 hours. In the 1955 Le Mans race, French racer Pierre Levet was two hours in when he clipped an American racer's car, causing his car to flip and crash into a crowd of spectators. The crash caused the death of Pierre and 83 spectators. 120 others were also injured due to the flying debris from the crash. Number 3. Miklos Feher on the 25th of January 2004, Hungarian soccer player Miklos Feher was playing a live game on television. After assisting another player with a goal, he suddenly bent forward in pain and fell to the ground. Players from both teams rushed to his assistance including medical personnel. His death was caused by cardiac arathema which causes the heart to beat too fast. Number 2. Benny Perret on March 24, 1962, Emil Griffith and Benny Perret were finally fighting after a feud lasting months. In the 12th round, Emil pushed Benny into the ropes, causing Benny's arm to become tangled in them. Emil then punched Benny 24 times in the head. The referee then broke up the fight. Benny lay in the corner and never got back up, dying 10 days later in hospital. Number 1. Nikola Zoricic in 2012, Bosnian skier Nikola Zoricic was competing in the Skiing World Cup in Switzerland. On the last jump of his race, he was too far to the right of the slope, causing him to lose control. He suffered a head injury after crashing and was airlifted to hospital. He died hours later from blunt force trauma to his head. Comment which accident shocked you the most. Thanks for watching. Here are some more videos you might like, and don't forget to subscribe.